Mr Mayor, you talked earlier about your £23 million scrappage scheme for vans for micro-businesses to comply with the ULES. Can you yet tell us how much per vehicle that will be? And if you could answer with a yes or no or a number, ideally, that would be good. We hope to be publishing details of how the diesel scrappage scheme will work over the course of the next uh, couple of weeks. Obviously, the ULES begins in uh, April, and we've been consulting with small businesses uh, and others to make sure we have a scheme that benefits the smallest businesses uh, the best uh, as we do to uh, the offshore emissions zone starting. Okay. Um, what we've been doing is we've been speaking to community organisations, charities, the Variety Club and youth clubs who use minibuses or vans for transport, particularly things like getting children out of London for the day on day trips and, and so they don't have to pay for the train. Um, you have given vehicles an extension to 2025 for compliance if they're disabled passenger vehicles and 2023 for charities. But we think they, they need more help than that from talking to them. Um, and we're not sure the scrappage scheme will help them enough. Um, we want to do more to help charities meet the ULES standards by 2025 or ideally sooner. And we've got a proposal in our budget amendment later on. So can we ask that you look at that, see what more you can do for charities um, and other vital organisations like youth clubs? Well, Chair, it gives you an opportunity to say we, we are. Uh, and that's one of the things we'll be announcing in the next uh, few weeks is the work we are doing with uh, charities and others across uh, London. We're keen to make sure uh, the poorest Londoners benefit the most from the ultra low emission zone, but also the uh, scrappage scheme. We'll also continue to lobby the government to assist us uh, as well. And over the next few weeks, um, uh, we'll be announcing our plans to assist uh, the poorest uh, Londoners, uh, businesses and charities. Uh, and I'm hoping that'll be supported uh, by most, if not all members of the assembly. Excellent. I think, I mean, the key thing here is that um, an extension for charities is good, but helping them to comply is better because of the, the problems with uh, emissions inside the vehicles as much as anything else and the users of the, the groups. So, yeah, talking to those groups about their particular characteristics, their particular needs, we found a gap in the plans. It sounds like you might be looking at the same gap, and, and I hope you'll look at our proposals. Well, the thing is, Joe, I mean, Bear in mind, some of it hasn't seen our plans. I'm not sure how you can. Well, see the, the plans gaps in you've announced so far have well, a gap. What so. we've announced so far is a, <laughs> a, a, is a pie of money, £23 million. Uh, and so I'm, I'm, I'm unclear how even the Greens can find holes in a plan that's not been announced, but that's the Greens for you, Chair. Well, have a, have a look at our budget proposal, because um, looking at the numbers that we've got in there, I don't think £23 million can possibly cover what's needed, but, but we'll, we can talk about that at the next budget meeting. Thank okay. you.